Welcome back everyone. We are back with another exciting video today. We are going to check out Mrs. Macquarie's chair, which is right on the opposite side of Potts Point. We're also going to go down for a walk around Potts Point, have a look at all the super expensive yachts. Like I am talking millions and millions of dollars these yachts are, and I kind of actually wish I had one of those, but I don't, which is, which is all right. Maybe one day we'll actually have a yacht and it will be happy days. But for now, we're just gonna go for a little tour around there, show you all what it's like. If you do like the content that I'm putting out, please like and comment and subscribe. Comment if you would like to see where we're going next, because I don't know where we're going next. And if you have any suggestions, I'm happy to hear them. Fill it in down there. Let me know down there what you guys wanna see next and we'll make it happen. Also, if you have a look at my community tab, I'm gonna try and put some polls up and stuff for you all to look at. That way we can all in, you know, engage with one another and make this the best walk along channel that everyone has ever seen. So chip in, give me ideas, give me some of your feedback. It will be much appreciated. We can't do much unless we grow together as a channel. So all of your support's much appreciated. Let's go check out Mrs. Macquarie's chair. Ah. So we're on the opposite side this time. The opera house is over there this time, which is a bit different. There you can see. More opera house. It's right over there. Check, check this out, lad. Remember when we were on the side of Botanical last week and I was like, what is this stuff? It looks like a movie set. It, I don't know. Or some kind of entertainment set because there's all these chairs here on this side. Okay, there's all these chairs here and then they've got all that stuff. Check it out. I don't know what it is. I'll have to try and find out what that is because I have no idea what this is. Like it's a big stage production. You can see it. What are they filming out here though? Like what is this production about? If any of you know, let me know because I don't know. So pretty soon we'll be doing the Harbour Bridge walk. Check it out. See that bridge? We're going to go walk across it. I'm not going to go and do the bridge climb. Are you crazy? <laughs> I already do bad enough with heights as it is. You think that like, I'm going to go another, I don't know how many stories that is, but if you, if you guys think, if, if any of you think that I'm going to go and do a bridge climb, you're out of your mind. Okay, bridge walk? Yeah, bridge climb? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's a big no on that. Oh, there's some fish down there. I don't know if you'll see them. We've got some fishies down here, all just cruising along. Look at them all. No idea if you can see those fish. Massive school of them. So we're placing an order this week. We're gonna get a drone. We're getting a backpack. I'm getting a new selfie stick for this GoPro because the one I currently have is very flimsy, it's very old, it's trash. And then there's another thing I'm getting which is a power bank and then enduro batteries for the GoPro. Uh, the reason we're getting stronger batteries is I was filming on Sunday, which was yesterday for me. Um, we went through four batteries, one GoPro, three Telesons, all done, finished, and I was only halfway into the day of filming. so. We lost half a day's footage. We didn't get all the footage that we wanted, but we are currently near Macquarie's chair. So we're gonna go up there and see what it's about. I think it's up, way up there above us. We have to take those stairs and go up, so. All right, so we're up here at Miss Macquarie's point. There's a sign here for you. Check it out. Miss Macquarie's point. Right, and then this is obviously the view that you get for the whole harbour. Everyone's taking their pictures. See that?
cool. She might show you a better view because I've got the, the selfie stick. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Huh? So that's the view you'll get if you come up to Macquarie's point. Oh, I need to go try and find her chair though because that's the whole reason why we're here is to go look at a chair. So. Where is Macquarie's chair? Might actually be down a bit more from where we are. Check it out. Got one there, we've got another one there, another one there. I think that's a transportation one. Then there's another massive one over there. So we are definitely gonna go have a look at those today. We are currently at Yurong Point, Miss Macquarie's Point. So Garden Island and Clark Island, Port Jackson of 1877. It's known today as Miss Macquarie's Point, although the landscape has been altered through human intervention. Some Aboriginal sites do endure. Ceremonial site was located nearby in the grounds. So if you want to read any or more of that, pause it up, you know the drill. Now we're going to go have a look at Miss Macquarie's chair. Here it is. Check it out. Miss Macquarie's chair. It says, be it thus recorded that the road around the inside of the government domain called Miss Macquarie's Road, so named by the governor on account of her having to originally plant it measuring three miles and 30, 377 yards. It was completed on the 13th day of June of 1816. So this was actually carved out of sandstone in 18, oh, I think 1810 um, by convicts. Convicts carved all this out by stone. So that, like this is all done with, by hand, like hand and tool, man. It's all done by hands and tool by our convicts that first come to Sydney. So if you don't know the history, Sydney was pretty much in the early days was full of convicts so a lot of the, like the buildings and roads and stuff that were built or being built was being built by convicts which is why a lot of the building structures and road structures in Sydney are terrible like roads are too narrow in many areas sometimes they're not big enough or they haven't done the the correct procedures for buildings there's asbestos in some of these buildings still to this day so that's how it goes, but there's a nice, like, cool rocky platform there, which I think is pretty cool. Here we go. Well, we're down on the pathway, closer to the water. As you can see, the ships are very close. Check it out, they're right there. A lot of oysters. So many oysters down here. So if you had a knife, you just go down there, Matt. Oysters for days. There's something orange. Check this out. Something orange over there. Now I have no idea what it is. I don't know if it's someone's floaty from their rod or something when they went fishing and they just forgot it there, but. Oh, I'm unsure. Anyway, this is going to be a nice big walk again. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get over to the other side, so we'll see what happens. Obviously, I have to move my camera around a lot because I use auto shutter. I don't use a set like shutter because the weather in Australia is very unpredictable. Can be cloudy one time and sunny the next, that kind of stuff. So, oh, check it out, lad, that super boat that I want to go on. Look at them over there. They're jet boating. How fun's that? He just takes them around, does doughies in his boat all day. Like, that's his job. That's so good. But yeah, the shade doesn't work very good with the GoPro, so 
unless I have a glare this way because if I put the camera this way in the shade it makes me all dark until I hit the light like now and then I'm sort of visible but for now I think it's because the sun is right above me so I don't get any of the side to help with shadow and stuff so yeah check it out all the nice water around here the thousands and thousands of oysters on the rock I'd imagine a lot of them are already been eaten by fish <laughs> you have a lot of those rock type fish with the real hard beaks it's like they have these I don't know, real hard beaks to just crush shells and stuff with. So, I'm always scared when I catch those types of fish because you see how they bend your hooks and stuff. Well, I'll get my finger trapped in their mouth, you end up with no finger, but there's more. There's like oysters all along the edge. All along this edge, like so many. Look out the spider, lad. Check out that spider, that's pretty big. I don't know if it's still alive or not, because it's not moving. And I like touched the bottom of the web and it didn't move, so I don't know. It's another Navy ship all the way out over there. And that's next to some Manning Sydney ship. Yeah. Actually, that's quite interesting. Someone just pointed out that the Reliant ship that we were looking at, the one over there, has got a helipad. Right up there, look at it. Full on helipad. Just come and land your helis on the ship. I'm, I'm wondering if that's because there's always something happening. Oh, there's a pool here. I didn't even know. Check it out. There's a pool. <laughs> there's a pool over here. Two meter deep water. Why have I never seen this pool or knew about it? Could have been coming here for a swim. I can all see it as we walk past it. But yeah, it's definitely a pool there. I don't know if I'll have enough time to get us over to the other side and back before my lunch break is over. But check it out, we stand here. Way back there. Then you've got all of that. That's pretty cool. Views around here are way better than a botanical. Might actually <laughs> bring a towel one day and come here. Do a swim. Do a swim session. Yeah, the things you find when you don't really do much around here. I just work and go for my lunch break and then I'm like straight back in the office. I don't I rarely ever done what we're doing now, so I think it's kind of how do you call it? I don't know. Look at this, check it out, Andrew Boy. It's called the Andrew Boy Charlton Pool. So does that mean it's just for the lads? Because I don't think I saw any women there. Uh, did you see any women? I don't know if I saw any. I wasn't really looking at the people in the pool. We'll see how far we can make it before I have to turn around. And then what we'll do is we'll just make this into a two part video. So then the second part will finish off. Check it out. It's the solar array for the roof and stuff for the Boy Charlton kiosk. That's so cool. That is it. Oh, actually, let's go down here. Check this out. Check it out there. Uh, going up and down those stairs, there were people there and I was trying to get out their way. <laughs> My back got hit by something and then check this out. Major injuries, lad. Check it out. Yeah. It's pretty deep. All the skin's gone. I can see the fat. It's pretty deep. 
Yay. I wonder what the back's like. I can't see the back, but uh, I'd say it'll be similar damage to the back, but there you go. <laughs> Miss Macquarie's bushland walk. It's currently where we're going, but oh man, my knee is hurting. My knee is hurting, lad. Oh. Uh, uh, check this out. Ah, uh, look at it. That is hectic. Oh, we lose. We lost some flesh today. bleeding on my back or not. Oh. Ah, my knee is very sore. Ah, injuries, man. Injuries. My job, my job involves a lot of stairs, up and down on stairs. So, uh, I spoke to a bloke. Yeah, check it out. Spoke to a bloke. <laughs> Where's the go with that side? Ah, more stairs. Down we go. Oh, check it out, it's like a cool... Just a cool nothing section right there. Absolutely nothing. It's not, nothing happening there. Right, well at least we didn't fall over and hurt our knee this time coming down, eh? <laughs> what the hell is that? It's like a mooring line here. Check it out. Yeah, it's like a hook. Hook with a cable. Yeah. Don't know what they were doing though. It's just a hook and a cable there. Actually, there's another hook and a cable right here. Another hook and a cable right here. Look, what are, what are these for? No ships coming up here. Look at it. Look how high it is from the water. You see? It's like a little beach. I kind of feel like going down there to get some water on this knee, lad. Wow. My knee is so sore. As we go for our leisure stroll, check it out. This must probably be one of the most expensive harbours in Sydney when it comes down to all the yachts that are currently parked up here like I reckon we are close to at least a hundred million maybe even more worth of yachts and boats currently just in that area we'll go for a little walk around there I've got about 10 to 15 minutes left of my lunch break so hopefully we can uh, mash them out look it's the Donna the Donna Chade. How sick is that? They even got their own little skiff on the back. Man. People have a good eye. The super rich people have it good. Oh, cool. Well, there is a lot of ornaments and monuments around here, so we're going to go check them all out. So We're going to start off with the crab claw. Check it out, though. Crab claw. How good's that? Ah. There it is, it's called the Woolloomooloo Sculpture Walk. It's the oiled, oiled mild steel apparently. So we are currently on the Woolloomooloo Sculpture Walk impromptu. I didn't even know this was here. So this is why I love doing these things. Just coming out to areas having no clue what it looks like and then we get here and this is like all this stuff to explore. So. Oh, it's the Castina, check it out. It's another one that's got their own little... That's sick, a little dinghy on the back. It's awesome. Easily a hundred million dollars just in this bay. E easily. Alright, we've got a crane. 
one. Oh, it's a hungry egret. Okay, the hungry egret. Check it out. Check out the hungry egret, lad. How sick is that? We've got another one here. Check it out. What's this one called? This is called. Uh, it's got nothing, it just says Sydney. Anyway, there it is. It blows with the wind and moves around. Look at it. She might stand with the wind behind me. Wind is currently wind is currently behind me, so it is a uh, pretty windy day. Check it out, lad. It's like one of those big fishing. I think it's for marlin. You now they get catching marlin and stuff because it's got the big rod up the top with the two assists. And then obviously the chair in the middle. I've never actually done that fishing yet. I need to go and give her a crack one day. But yeah, man, there's very there's a lot of expensive yachts. Man. The old man over there clean. There's a bull. Pretty easy, distinguishable. Metal bull on the Woolamaloo sculpture walk. That's a sick one, lad. Oh man, if I had one like that, I'd live out in the ocean. You'd never see me again on dry land. Dry land! Like water world. Dry land! I like this one, it's like a dude. Check it out, it's all made out of chains. That's sick, lad. The Woolamaloo Sculpture Walk. It's pretty cool. I like it. I rate it. There's more. There's like a lot more. There's like a whole bunch where we're walking towards. So. Yeah, let's look at all these yachts. You know, mate, with his sailing. He's got his sail ship and stuff. That's sick, eh? Uh, another sculpture right here. Check it out. Now, if the camera is very shaky, it's because my selfie stick's breaking. So, unfortunately, that is what it is. We'll get it fixed. Can't give you great content all the time, you know. There's another sculpture right there. Don't know what its name is. Apparently it's called Sentinel. We've got another one here. It's like people sculptures. I don't know. It looks like Enderman from Minecraft. <laughs> looks like one of the Enders from Minecraft. That's so good. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I reckon that whole entire bay that we just walked through easily hundred million dollars worth of ships. Check it out. There's another sculpture right there. Check it out. Don't know what that is. We've got two or three left, I think, and then we're done. There you go, check it out. Two more here. I don't know what they are. Again, the, the signs here are terrible. Just look at them. It tells me the sculpture, the title, and then what steel they use, but not the name of the actual sculpture. Like, you can't tell me that's called Sowello Hunt. That makes no sense to me. That's just someone's name. It's like they use their name for the title. See, this one's called Four High. Because what, it's got four boxes high? Like, you couldn't come up with a better name than that? Like really? They couldn't come up with a better name for that than just call them the Four High. What's this one called? Cube Stack. Cube Stack hashtag 18. That that's what they called that one. So that's that's the kind of innovation these artists have for these sculptures that they're just going to call it the most basicest dumb stuff I've ever seen. It makes no sense. We got horses though. Please tell me you've got it written as horses. Check it out. Check it out. More horses. 
No, it's called Willow. Okay. And this one is called King. So check it out. We've got more horses here. We've got Willow and we've got King. That's that's the name of these sculptures. Willow and King. I'll ride King. The rest of you can ride Willow. You know, because there's winds in the willows. But to give you all an idea of when I said it's windy today, there's the flags. It's blowing its tits off, man. But there it is, a full view of that side of the bay. Now, obviously, I do not have the time to take you guys across to go and check those Navy ships out, but but there's always time in another video to go around back there, check out those big ships. The Bells Hotel, so if you like drinking, you know, a little bit of beer, Bells Hotel is right there. So that means you can come off from the wharf and then just trek yourself straight over to Bells Hotel and go have yourself a happy day. Get drunk while you're at it, then go drive your boat. <laughs> if you're a drunk driver, you probably get fined a lot by Maritime. Maritime police are always out in force around Sydney Harbour because the harbour is very busy. You got ships coming in and out all day long, so it's up to them to make sure that the right people are entering and exiting our harbours. So. Alright, check it out. Nobby time. <laughs> Nobby time. the Azuma. How you going bud? Then you've got that one there. Hasn't got a name on the back. Neither does that one. The Suellen. The Suellen. That's a cool ship. Yeah. How are you brother? Got the PTN 88N, the An Ansarini. That one, mate, like that. You'd, <laughs> you'd never want to leave the ship. I don't know where the owner is of that, but if they don't want to use it, I'll use it for them. Like, how can you be so rich and own all the stuff, but then not use it, like, like the Rivera? You've got the Sun Dancer, the St. Elmo, the High Mirrors. Look, all I'm saying, right, if you're that rich that you can own these, but you don't have the time to take them out, reach out to me. I'll take them out for you. <laughs> I'll make wonderful videos in your yachts for you. It'll be great. Look, this one here, the High Mirrors. Whoever owns that, let me take it for a spin, lad. Mojave. Here we are. Check it out, it's the Mojave. I don't know if that's his yacht or if it's someone else's and he's just cleaning it. Big buddy. So that probably only goes out on weekends. No, but serious, like if they don't want to use them, I'll use them for them. Look, you see a girth that would be like a little house in there, you'd never have to leave, as well as the Castina. Like these two, that's basically just a home. <laughs> I'd, I'd just live in that all day, every day, all year, every year. I'd never come on land again. And then the one out there, so. That's all of them. I hope you all enjoyed your little yacht tour of Potts Point Harbour. And then obviously we had all our ships and stuff up there, so. Usual spiel, if you like the content, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Previous video can be found just up here. And if you need to subscribe, click down there, check the description for any previous links to videos and links for other stuff. Thank you so much for your support, everyone. Hopefully we can continue growing this channel into something massive and have some of the best walk-alongs you've ever seen in your life. Very much appreciated, love every single one of you. Kev, my man, if you made it this far in the video, big shout out to you, brother. You've helped me out through all my years, even back in the days when we were doing gaming stuff, twitching, all that stuff. So Kev, the winter man, 
my cousin bruv. Thank you so much, heaps of love. We will see everyone in the next episode. Keep an eye out, usual thing. Wednesday, Sunday, catch you then. Ow!